The following is a presentation of Burn Glen Productions. Chance Gernhardt, par 5 fifth for Eagle. The Clayton, California native makes his mark again in the East Bay. It opened its doors in 1969, nestled in the corner of Mount Diablo, beautiful Boundary Oak in Walnut Creek, California. Today, its 18-hole layout plays host to the Diablo Valley College Athletics Golf Tournament. Can't have a golf tournament without a tournament director. We're joined by Donnie Howell, the uh, E-Team sponsor, uh, business development man. And uh, how'd the idea come about? Well, actually, it was a Christian Worsley idea mm -hmm. to try to uh, help generate additional funds. Into the dean and athletic director. Yes. Yeah. Um, she uh, has done a, a great job in, uh, in utilizing our services to help the individual programs. Then we decided to uh, try to get a little extra money out of the thing and make sure that the programs are, are staying viable by utilizing this as, a, as a, our skills to, to run a golf tournament. Yeah, but how are your golf skills? My golf skills are awesome. <laughs> you want to come out and play me? <laughs> I can't wait to catch some of that on camera. <laughs> There's a few guys that are better, <laughs> but I think I can get you. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Hey, you know, I, I've got to know you a little bit. I mean, you're, you're you're always in the community. You're always, you know, there to kind of lend a hand and, 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 and kind of help out a little bit. Where does that come from? You know, it, it comes from my background. You know, I grew up really poor, never had opportunities to do a lot of things. Like, like uh, we didn't have money for me to play Little League Baseball. Uh, I'd always have to go watch my, my buddies uh, practice and stuff, you know, and uh, and as I got older, I got into uh, playing sports myself, mm -hmm. did, did pretty well in football, and uh, it really helped change my life and helped me, uh, you know, focus my efforts uh, out of poverty, and that's why uh, when I started E-Team Sponsor with, uh, with my partners, uh, Randy Coddington and Sean Connors and Mark McCullough, Greg Pater, um, we all kind of have the same background. You know, it's all about sports, and sports really altered our lives a lot. And that's why I just I just hate seeing uh, programs like DBC suffering because of the lack of funds. You know, um, the money is a minor issue to getting these kids focused and having a chance at life. Yeah, and anybody that knows the history of DBC, especially uh, especially the football program, the Vikings, it's uh, you know it's 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 at the top or, or, or near the top year in and year out. And uh, and and I guess the, through your efforts, uh, it's it's your, every intention to keep it that way. Huh? Yeah, they, they have excellent athletes. They have excellent coaching. Mm -hmm. They have uh, you know a good business plan for for the school and how they utilize their funds. They're not wasteful, but there still just isn't enough money. And um, the the community is so big and so broad. I think that we can each kick in a little bit. It won't hurt our pockets, and it's going to go to a great cause and help a lot of other people out. Yeah, well, uh, we really appreciate uh, your involvement with this tournament. There you see the check-in at the clubhouse as we go out to two. Brandon Johnson, owner of 40 Adore, the mobile golf shop. Ah, it's not going to hold. It just tails left to 12. Christine Worsley, the DVC athletic director. Well, she got it on the green. We'll visit with her in just a few moments. Back to two. Jason Omanya. <laughs> Jason, how's your back? Jason, how's He's your feeling back? it today. Let's get your back. Fist pump. Fist pump. You, Jason. Blake Howell. Ooh, apple falls far from the tree. <laughs> Not to be confused for Rory McElroy, I can tell you that much. To five. Jay Feldman. About 100 yards. Group 4B. We'll have that left for birdie. To six. Chance Gerhardt, who had that chip in at five. Just short, but we've already seen his short game. Ford Roadster, 1958 Ford Wagon, 1932 Ford Coupe, Little Deuce Coupe, 1941 Chevy. Vintage cars here at the DVC Golf Event at Boundary Oak. Hey, how's it going? My Hi. name's Sam. <laughs> I'm Natalie. And we're here from the DVC Soccer Team where we are registering golfers for our golf tournament challenge that's happening today. 
June 6, 2011, on this beautiful overcast day in California. We don't know what's going on, but it's going to be a great event and an awesome day. <laughs> We're joined now by Christine Worsley, the Dean and Athletic Director at Diablo Valley College. And uh, how about this? You never forget the first time, they say, huh? <laughs> you never do. We, uh, this is our inaugural uh, golf challenge uh, for Diablo Valley College Athletic Department. Mm -hmm. And we, um, we're very excited. We have all of our coaches involved today. We have our student athletes here who are helping um, with the event, and then we have a number of distinguished um, guests who will be golfing today with us. So we're excited. In this uh, state of California, in these economic times, and we need tournaments like this to kind of support the school. Because I mean, this there's, there's no money in the, by the state. There's just no money. Yes, we are in it. You know, we are in trying times right now, and our college. Um, has been great about really um, supporting our efforts in fundraising so that we can maintain our programs. We currently have 17 programs at DVC and, um, and they're very successful. So it's important for us to continue to put out a quality program for our student athletes. All right, you, so you come 3,000 miles from, uh, from, from school in Rochester, you, it, which was a four-year program. You take on a junior college where you got guys coming in and out every couple of years. What's, what's the big challenge for you? The big challenge for me was adjusting again to the two-year school. Um, I have a Division three philosophy of student first, athlete second, mm -hmm. so I brought that philosophy with me um, to the junior college level because we really want to transfer our student athletes on to the next level and we want them to be able to use athletics as the means to do that. So it's important for us to run quality programs so that they, um, so that they are, are being noticed by the recruiters, by the four-year schools, and then you know, find their way into a four-year school and get degrees. That is our primary goal for our student athletes. Basically, with a two-year program like this, it's like, welcome and thank you. <laughs> and then they're just right out the door. Must be awfully hard for fundraising purposes. Um, for fundraising purposes, we have to be creative, uh -huh. yes. Um, and we're fortunate enough to have a really strong coaching staff um, who are very committed to that and committed to their programs. So they build a very strong foundation within their teams and within their student athletes and even within the parents who help support our programs. Um, they see the value in it and they've been very supportive of us. Okay, well, uh, go up there and uh, play well, play hard. I don't know, I, I, you must swing right-handed. I don't know if you swing straight. I, I, I don't swing straight. <laughs> <laughs> but we're very excited about today um, and you know uh, our coaches have I think some inner uh, uh, I won't use the word betting but right. if you know what I mean they've, they've got some challenges amongst themselves so it should be a really fun day <laughs> challenges instead of wagering excellent yes. choice to work yes. speaking of challenges let's go out and catch some of the action Michael Bush swinging a mighty stick. And if you want to see what this young man does for a living, running back for the Oakland Raiders, when will this lockout end? A lot of guys have been out doing their own thing, working out on their own, but it's about that time where we sitting around, it's like, you know what, I think we are ready to play some ball. So, you know, but I think, you know, They'll get everything fixed, and uh, I think the season will be here right when we're ready. We just all got to make sure we're ready to go. Swinging free at the par 3 12th to beat the pro hole. Can that be enough to get inside the pro Donnie Howell? Each one of these guys get a chance to uh, hit up onto the green, and if they, uh, uh, whoever gets closest, uh, then I hit and try to beat that ball. If, uh, if I lose, they get a cigar and an arm's length worth of uh, tickets. And a lot of respect. And a lot of respect. <laughs> Here is Howell. Cut. 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 Howell's ball is here. Ooh. But Bush's ball is here. A good distance away from the flag but closer than Howell. 
got inside of Donnie's shot. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? He actually gave me a pointer because I was going to use the wrong club. And, uh, Thanks to his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, I got lucky. They said I've been on fire all day. So let's see if we can keep it rolling. We are joined now by one of the great success stories out of Diablo Valley College. His name is Greg Wilson. He is a receiver, and he is headed to Fordham to play football. How about that, huh? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, coming, coming out of high school, you know, no one really gave me a chance. So Coach, Coach Dar down there at DVC went, uh, went there. You know, he gave me a shot, went there, played, played for a year, and got a full ride out to Fordham. How much does that hit you when you got someone believing in you enough to give you a shot and then you literally take the ball and run with it. I mean, it, it's pretty exciting just because, I mean, in high school you're still young and naive and, you know, you want you want all the big schools to, to come come and get you and when none of them do and Coach Dar, you know, he's calling you and he picks up and says, come on, you know, come play for me. I'll, I'll, I'll get you out somewhere and, you know, he does and it's 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 pretty cool. Which is Which leads me to the question, what, what did DVC do for you? I mean, it really, it really kind of put me on a path of, of what I wanted to do. I mean, not only as far as football and getting me to Fordham, and it, it kind of helped me in, in my career path as far as, uh, wanted, I mean, I'm a business major and I'm in the business school at Fordham, and so DVC, the school itself, I mean, it helped me kind of steer me into the path of, of, of what my career path wanted to be. Today's the day you want to just put the playbook down and uh, pick up the club and just uh, go have fun. Hopefully huh? hit a couple straight, we'll see. All right, Greg Wilson, receiver. Fordham, believe it, dreams can happen. Let's get out to more of the action. And the aforementioned DVC football coach, Mike Dar, he likes it. Greg Wilson. <laughs> you can tell he's been definitely concentrating on football to 12. Athletic trainer Wendy Holt actually won the woman's long drive today. Run. Just caught the right side of the green. Hey, you're dancing. To two. Yeah. Right, last week I Pete Garcia. That <laughs> will hurt. To five. Mike Larson right over the cat box. Mm. Settles in nicely. To 12. David Asselin got his par for Group 6B to the 12th tee. Zach Roberts, plenty of club for the 5B group. To five. Mike New for birdie. That's Group 5A in it to win it. Huge thanks to the E-Team sponsor in conjunction with Boundary Oak. We're with Shelly Pearson, the track coach at Diablo Valley College. And uh, what's more nerve-wracking, coming out of the blocks or hitting that ball on the first hole? Uh, definitely hitting that ball on the first hole. <laughs> oh, come on. You never know if that's going to happen oh. or not. <laughs> the, the ball's just sitting there. Is it just, turn, just hit it. Well, momentum takes you out of the blocks. I'm not sure what gets me through that first hole on the golf course, but I put in a good effort. Well, you've been on the grandest stage, the Olympic trials. I mean, this should be, this should be nothing. Uh, Running's a little different than golf. <laughs> Guts. Yeah, not a lot of technique there, huh? <laughs> At least for a distance runner. <laughs> How many guts you got uh, with the track team? Tell me about the track team. How's, uh, what kind of a year did we have? We had a great year. Uh, uh, had a pole vault record broken, girls wow. pole vault. Uh, Sarah Ribeiro uh, broke that record and is currently ranked sixth in the nation. So um, had a great year. Both teams did fabulously. Um, we're building. Next year will be even better. Uh, so looking forward to that. And we owe it all to coaching. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the golf coach. <laughs> Shelly, you're a good sport. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> Opened his doors in 1949. We're with Mike Dar, the head football coach at Diablo Valley College. Took over the reins in 2007. And uh, uh, Coach, what was the first challenge when you took over a program like that? I mean, I know it's you got the guys for two years, and then it's you know it's welcome, and then thank you for your efforts. But uh, what what's the big challenge for you? Well, you know, I, I've been on campus since mm -hmm. since 2003. I've been an assistant. 
Uh, so, so there was, you know, it wasn't as much of a transition as maybe someone coming from the outside. Uh, but you know, whenever you take over a program, you got some ideas about the way you'd like to do things and, and how you kind of envision your program. And, uh, you know, you, you know it's going to take some time and take some work, but, uh, you know, I've got some, some fantastic guys on my staff and, uh, yeah, we, we, think we're, we think we're right about where we want to be. Yeah, you know the old saying, Coach, when you're an assistant coach, you're like one of the guys. Then when yeah. you're the head coach, there's some separation there because you have to be a coach and an administrator. Yeah. Fair, fair? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You know, be, yeah, you could always say, well, you know, you're going to have to go talk to the head guy. <laughs> that's yeah, right. now, that, now that's all coming to you. Uh -huh. so, right. Sure, sure. I, 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 my, uh, one, one, of, one of my assistants was actually my head coach when I played there back in the 80s. Whoa, holy smokes. Yeah, he's a, he's a great resource, and uh, he's a guy that, you know, he was, he was my mentor as, as a player and as a coach. So, uh, you know, it, again, that helped with the transition. And how about this uh, fundraiser? I mean, it's all for uh, DVC, uh, you know, athletics. Uh, um, uh, and, and in these trying economic times, I mean, with the state out of money, it's, uh, uh, I mean, this, this is certainly a, uh, a welcome advantage for you guys, huh? It, it is, it is. And, you know, I, I, you know good and bad, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's just part of the deal uh, is uh, with, the, with the budgets the way they are in California. And, uh, you know, with, with what you try and do with your program, you know, we, uh, you know, we we average about 20 scholarships a year. Mm -hmm. we, we're, we're a great opportunity for for guys, but you know, a lot of people in the community, they're you know, they they want to give back to their four-year school. They want to give back to the high school, and we've helped so many people over the years at, at DVC. You know, around this area, that you know, it's it's hard to find someone who hasn't taken a class over the summer, spent a semester, or uh, or, or you know, gone the whole way through Diablo Valley College before moving on. Um, but again, it's just that it's that transitional stage that a lot of people kind of feel those ties to high school, feel those ties mm -hmm. to their four-year school. So, you know, whatever we can do to try and bring people back into the fold is what we're, you know, what we're forced to do nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Before the NFL lockout, I, I, I guess conventional wisdom would say, uh, have one of those guys that came through DVC that that's made the right. NFL that's and cut right. it, cut you a check. That's right. You <laughs> talk to them now, and they say, hey, I, I'm not even playing golf <laughs> right now because I don't want to pull a muscle or anything. Hey, quick football thing. I mean, you think, yeah. uh, I mean, you, you think this NFL thing is going to come? To fruition or? I tell you, I, I think there's a there's a there's a lot of people that stand to lose a lot of money if if this season doesn't go off. And uh, you know, I I I don't have that kind of money, but <laughs> I, I think those owners, I, I think they want to make sure that their products out there on the uh, out there on the field. I would. So my guess is they're going to be playing. All right, all right. Well, speaking of playing, hey, play well today, huh? I uh, well, <laughs> my daughter my daughter's 12, so it's been 13 years. So. <laughs> I keep it out of the water, and, and I don't pull anything. That's you right. That's right. Well, it's yeah. nice to have a nice four or five hour break where you don't have to diagram plays on a cocktail napkin. Yep, yep. You're okay. right. You're right. Mike Dar, the head football coach at uh, DVC, out to more action. Where we go to two. Eric Smith getting a lesson in Turnover. where the Turnover. putts Turnover. break at That's Boundary Oak. That went way, way really Earlier, here's the ball coach, Mike Dar. I'll tell you, coach got a little short game. Been sneaking out between studying game film. That's what's waiting for these groups at the clubhouse. To 12, Clayton Valley High School alum Sam Williams for birdie. When Sam isn't hitting balls, he's hitting ball carriers for the last eight years as an Oakland Raider linebacker. Back to 12. Let's see his dad, Big Sam. Let's see how he does. Well, <laughs> he wasn't short. Their partner, Sean Connors, E-Team sponsor, co-founder, and chief operating officer. Great role. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Go. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> Let's get to know Sean. So what are you, a protege of uh, Donnie Howe? Yeah, protege. <laughs> sure, that sounds good. Sean Connors has joined us, and uh, we got the uh, we got the E team seal of approval uh, when we visited with uh, Mr. Howell earlier. Uh, but uh, uh, tell about your involvement with it, and, uh, and 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 why it is just critical 
that uh, that you guys uh, you know come and back another great cause. Sure, uh, you know Don and I uh, going back to about a little over ten years ago mm -hmm. started coaching football together, and uh, uh, we just felt that uh, athletics played such an important role in our lives, uh, and uh, we felt that there was. Um, the necessity breeds innovation, and we felt that there was a, an opportunity for us to be able to go out and uh, uh, leverage everything that's great about being able to fundraise uh, and put together in a platform that we've built now with E-Team Sponsor, and we're just really excited that uh, uh, here in the first year we've been able to help so many programs and very excited about it. Is it your hope that uh, other groups around the Bay Area may look at this and go, hey, you see what those E-Team Sponsor guys are we need to have this in Marin. We need to have this in Tracy. We need to have wherever. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you know, we've uh, this year we've been really fortunate uh, with uh, you know the programs that we've been working with all over the, the Bay Area. Um, you know, the, the ones that have jumped on board with us right away. You know, some of them are going through their uh, third and fourth fundraisers with us, and uh, you know, we're really excited about what we've been able to do, even at the place where I coach football, DVC. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been able to help them raise over almost $45,000 for the athletic department this year. So I hope that uh, when people see how well uh, youth, high school, and college programs have been doing with our system, uh, that, yeah, they'll take mention of that, take notice of it, and, and hopefully we can implement it very easily and efficiently with their programs, help them, uh, help them raise a lot. Yeah, well, way to go, Sean. Keep it going. Thank, Thank you very much. much. I appreciate right. it. Hey, Sean, Sean Connors, Connors joining us. us. Back, Back out, out for more action. action. To five. 4B group, come on Mike, straight putt. Can't leave it short in the best ball tournament. Earlier, Adam Meissenhelder just blew it right on by. To 12, Susan Lamb, DVC Vice President, a little chip up. Yeah, she's spending too much time in the office. New West Textile Group sponsored a million dollar shootout. And in that one, Jay Feldman had a shot at holding it out from the 18th fairway from 168 yards. And the nerves got to him as he was way short. From our feathered friends, to the clubhouse. We're with Colleen Mullins, the women's head soccer coach, and uh, today, I'm sorry, uh, you're going to have to use your hands to hold the club. <laughs> you can't kick the ball with your feet. I know, I know. It's going to be a challenge, that's for sure. <laughs> what's, your, what, what's, what's your angle? Because I, 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 I have to believe that at at, when you're a high schooler, you know, you, oh, you want to go to a four-year school. Oh, I want to yeah, play in the yeah, Pac-10. Oh, yeah. I want to, you know, it, yeah. is, is it a tough sell? It can be. It can be, especially in this area. You know, I think the expectation for a lot of uh, student athletes is to go on to a four-year mm -hmm. um, school. But um, it, it, at the same time, we have a lot of students um, that come for a variety of reasons, whether it's, you know, they're not quite ready to leave home. Mm -hmm. Um, they still want to play the sport and maybe don't have the opportunity financially to go on and play at a four-year school. Um, so we have a variety of, of reasons why student athletes come to DVC and we provide a great you know academic and athletic opportunity um, for our athletes and you know I'm in the community all the time I hear I run into people oh I went to DVC I'm always wearing my gear I went to DVC I had a great experience <laughs> the teachers were great and you know so people there's a lot of respect for, D, for you know DVC and, and our athletics program and I think we provide a great experience for our student athletes. When you see events like we have today, I mean, do, do you guys collectively get together as a coach, coaches and, and kind of say to yourselves, uh, wow, I'm kind of glad we have this because Well, uh, absolutely. I mean, we have over the years have seen our, our budget and the opportunities we can provide um, for our students kind of dwindle and become mm -hmm. smaller. And so um, we're excited with our new athletic director to be here. And she's got all these ideas and, and resources that she's putting into this. And I think that, again, we're in a great community who can um, help out our programs. And, um, and for us to get more involved in the community, I think, is a really good thing um, for us to be doing. So, well, Ten years yeah. and going strong. And continued success, Coach. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> Back out for more of the action. This event held another golf challenge, the $5,000 putt, sponsored by Sports Plus. John Green, class of 1977, was randomly selected to try a 50-foot putt for that five grand. Great putt that just tailed off as a long speed. Tough one for Mr. Green. As we go back upstairs at the clubhouse. Special guest here, 
Steve Coach Emilio. He's the head basketball coach at the Avila Valley College. You got your 500th win? That's huge. You know, last year, it means I've been around a while. That's all. <laughs> Had a lot of good players and been around a while, but yeah. Notice I didn't ask about the losses. <laughs> That's good. But uh, I think, uh, you know, DVC has been a great place. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm from this area, uh, you know, went to high school locally at Clayton Valley and then uh, went away to a small school in Hawaii. And then when I came back, I started coaching. At Clayton Valley, and then I got a chance, very fortunate, to work at De La Salle in 1981. Coached the varsity for five years. And you had uh, you had Scooter Barry and you had John Barry. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, both both those guys. It was a great experience. In fact, Brent was our ball boy and Drew. So a wonderful family. Uh, the four bo boys and. Their mom, Pam, a wonderful family. Rick, ever come by practice and go, Coach, why don't you try it? Yeah, Rick is. Yeah. Why don't you try it this way? Well, you know, he came to some games, but uh, and he supported his boys. But I, it was funny. I played golf with Rick one time. Uh -huh. I think we were at, uh, at Brent's bachelor party. He hits it long. Oh, he's good. Right. He's a great athlete and, and uh, in many, many sports. Came to DVC in 1989 and have been there ever since. What keeps you going? What keeps the fire in the belly going, Coach? You know, I think that each one of the things I've really fallen in love with at the community college level is is that you really can help the transition for a lot of young men. Uh, you know, junior college is, is kind of goes unnoticed a lot, mm -hmm. but it's an area where a lot of young men mature. They, they mature in the classroom. They get their priorities straight, and a lot of times, and, and there's a lot of times, it's a place where kickbacks, where kids will go away for their freshman year and, and not do well or not be mature enough to handle a four-year level, they'll come back. But each year I enjoy building teams and I still have the energy to do it and that's kind of why I do it. And I, I would imagine in these economic times, things being the way they are, it's, uh, it's more bus rides than charter flights, huh? Well, it's always been bus rides <laughs> in junior college. I, I've been from, from Porterville to uh, Weed to Eureka, to Merced, to Kalinga. You probably you, know every mom and pop <laughs> diner around. Uh, yeah, and I look like it too. <laughs> Hey, appreciate you stopping by for a few minutes. You bet. Thanks, Ryan. Okay. All right. Well, as we recap this day, it started with 16 groups in cool, windy conditions filled with memorable moments, a lot of energy, and a few magical moments. Great day for the Mike New foursome. Kyle Gross, the long drive and poker golf champion. Andy Tarpley, John Negley. And how does victory taste? As this DVC broadcast draws to a close, our thanks to Boundary Oak Golf Management and its beautiful course accommodations, E-Team sponsor for arranging this first Diablo Valley College tournament, for our production crew and Anthony Ketchatorian. I'm Vern Glenn. Goodbye from Walnut Creek, California.